Hello, everybody. We're going to review the Chapter 5 Mid-Chapter Checkpoint today. All right, so let's get started. We're on page 213. A number that is multiplied by another number to find a product is called a what? Is that called a common factor, a divisible, or a factor? Well, a number that is multiplied by another number to find a product is called a factor. A number is blank by another number if the quotient is a counting number and the remainder is zero. It's divisible. Okay. All right, number three, three and four list all the factors from least to greatest. Okay, so the factors of eight. We know 1 and 8. Is 2 a factor of 8? Yes, because eight's even. 2 times 4. Is 3 a factor of 8? No, 3, 6, 9. 4? Yes, we've already got that. 5? No, because 8 doesn't end in a 0 or a 5. 6? No. 7? No. 8? Yes. Okay, so we have 1, 2, 4, 8. 1, 2, 4, it says list them in order from greatest to least. All right, 14. Well, we know 1 and 14. Will 2 work? Yes, because 14 is even. 2 times 7. We should know that in math fact. 3. No, 3 won't work because 1 plus 4 is 5. 5 is not divisible by 3. 4. 4, 8. 12, 16, no, it's not divisible by 4. 5, no, because it doesn't end in a 5 or a 0. 6, no, 1, because I know my math, the math facts for 6. But also, this number is not divisible by 2 and 3. It's only divisible by 2. 7 works. Okay, so those are the only factors of 14. So 1, 2, 7, 14. All right, is... 6 a factor of the number, right? Yes or no. So we're going to see if the number is even and divisible by 3. Well, 81 is going to be no because it's not even. 45 has to be no because it's not even. It's not divisible by 2. 42 is possible. And 56 is possible. Okay, so we know that both of those are divisible by 2. Now, what's the test for 3? Well, we add the digits, right? 4 plus 2 is 6. Is 6 divisible by 3? Yes. So 42 is divisible by 2 and 3, so it's also divisible by 6. And you might have just said, well, I know that 6 times 7 is 42. Yep. Great. All right. So if you're using that same logic, can you skip count 6 and get to 56? Well, no, I don't think so, because 6 times 9 is 54. And 6 times 10 is 60. So if I was listing multiples of 6, I would, wouldn't say 56. So, no. Oh, whoops. We're supposed to say yes or no, not, not the number. All right, number nine. List all the factor pairs in the table. All right, so let's start with 1 and 64. We know 2 works. 64 divided by 2. 2 times 3 is 6, so I have no 10s left to share. I have 4 1s left to share, and 2 times 2 is 4. So 2 and 32 is 64. 3. 3 will not work. 6 plus 4 is 10. 10 is not divisible by 3. 4. 4 will work. 64 divided by 4 is 16. 
So 4 and 16 are factors of 64. 5 is no because 64 does not end in a 5 or a 0. 6 is no because this number is also not divisible by 3. It has to be divisible by 3 and 2 for it to be divisible by 6. 7, no, 7 times 9 is 63. That's the closest you can get. 8 will work. 8 times 8 is 64. All right, how about the factors of 44? Well, we know 1 and 44 is 44. We should know that, know that 2 will work. And half of 44 is 22. 3. 3 will not work. 4 plus 4 is 8. 8 is not divisible by 3. 4 I know will work. 4 times 11 is 44. 5 will not work. 44 does not end in a 5 or a 0. 6 will not work because right now it's only divisible by 2. It did, 3 was not um, a divisor of 44 or was not a factor of 44. 7. 7 times 6 is 42. That's the closest I can get. 8. No, 8 times 5 is 40. That's the closest I can get. 9. 9 times 5 is 45, so no. And 10. 10 won't work. So those are the three factor pairs of 44. All right, number 11. List the common factors of the numbers. Okay, well, so what are the factors of 9 and what are the factors of 18? The factors of 9 are 1, 9. 3 and 3. Factors of 18 are 1 and 18, 2 and 9. Will 3 work? Yeah, 3 times 6 is 18. 4? 4, 8, 12, 16? No. 5? No, it doesn't end in a 0. 6 will go. I got 7, 14, 21? No. 8, 16? No. 9, we already have. Okay, so those are the only factors of. 18. So what's in common? I see the ones on both. I see 9 is on both. And I also see that 3 is on both. So 1, 3, 9. How about 20 and 50? All right, we know 1 times 20, and we know 1 times 50. 2 times 10, 2 times 25. I'm thinking of 50 as 50 cents. 50 cents would be two quarters. Three. No, three will not work. Two plus nothing is not divisible by three. Four. Four works. That's a basic math fact. Four times five is 20. Um, oh, over here, three will not work in this one. Five plus nothing is not divisible by three. Four will not work, but five will. Five and ten. Four and five, five works. Six will not work because it needs to be divisible by two and three. Seven will not work. Seven, 14, 21. Eight, 16, 24. No. Nine. Okay, 10. So those are the only factors of 20. And those are the factors of 50. So one's in common. Two's in common. Ten is in common. Okay. Oh, five is also in common, right? So one, two, five, ten. Okay. Let's go to two fourteen. Number thirteen. Sean places twenty-eight tomato plants in rows. All the rows contain the same number of plants. There are between 5 and 12 plants in each row. How many plants are in each row? All right, so what are the factors of 28? Well, 1 and 28. 2 will is a factor of 28. 2 and 14, that's 28. 3, no, 2 plus 8 is 10. 10 is not divisible by 3. 4, yes, 4 times 7. 
five? No, it doesn't end in a zero. Six? No, because it needs to be divisible by two and three, which it is not. Seven, we already have. Eight? No, eight times three is 24. Eight times four is 32. Nine? No, the closest you can get is 27. Okay, so those are the factors of 28. Now, it says it's between five and 12. Well, that means it can't be those three. And it can't be those two because they're greater than 14, uh, greater than 12. So it has to be seven plants in each row. All right, 14. Ella bought some keychains and spent a total of $24. Each keychain costs the same whole dollar amount. She bought between 7 and 11 keychains. How many keychains did Ella buy? So we have $24, right? Uh, yeah, $24. So what are the factors of 24? Well, we know it's 1 times 24. I know 2 times 12. 3 will work because 3 times 8 is 24. 4 will work. 4 times 6 is 24. Okay, and it says it's between 7 and 11. Well, it can't be any of those, and it can't be that, so it has to be eight keychains. That was the only one that was in between seven and 11. 15, Sandy has 16 roses, eight daisies, 32 tulips. She wants to arrange all the flowers in bouquets. Each bouquet has the same number of flowers and the same type of flower. What is the greatest number of flowers that could be in a bouquet? So we need to find the greatest common factor of all three numbers. So 16, 8, 32. We know that each bouquet has to have the same number of flowers and the same type of flower. So what is the greatest number of flowers? Well, 16. 1 and 16. 2 and 8. 4 times 4. I'm just going to put the 4 right there. Okay. All right. Now, 8, 1, and 8, 2, and 4. 32, 1, and 32, 2, and 16. 2 times 16 is 32. 3 will not work. 3 plus 2 is 5. 5 is not divisible by 3. Four I know works, because that is a basic math fact of four times eight. Five will not work, it doesn't end in a zero. Six will not work, because 32 is not divisible by two and three. So six will not be a factor. Seven is not a factor of 32. The closest you can get is 28 or 35. Eight we already have, and nine, no, the closest you can get is 36. Okay, so. Those are our factors of all three numbers. We circle anything in common to all three. Okay, 16 is not in common to all three. So we have eight. Eight is the greatest number. Eight flowers. And 16. Amir arranged nine photos on a bulletin board. He put the photos in rows. Each row contains the same number of photos. How many photos could be in each row? Well, we just have to list the factors of 9. Well, it could be 1 times 9, or it could be 3 times 3. So how many photos could be in each row? 1 photo, 3 photos, or 9 photos per row. Okay, so... That is it for the mid-chapter checkpoint for Chapter 5. I'm very confident you're going to do excellent on this checkpoint quiz. So until our next lesson, which will be Lesson 5.4, Factors and Multiples, may the numbers always be in your favor.